So I'm going to take like for the for uh, for for IPsec over virtual tunnel interface. I'm going to take one two sites. This is point to point. And to simulate the internet, I have taken a router. You may have more than one, but for me, one is enough. Meanwhile, I'll go to the notepad. This is taking a while, notepad. My PC is getting older, very slow. Enable config interface loopback zero. IP address is 192.168.1.1255.255.255.0. Interface. I don't know why it takes so long. Let's say fast zero 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 no shared IP addresses. The public IP is one hundred dot one hundred dot one hundred dot one two five five two five five two five five zero. And I'm going to run no SPF forward. Let me have a static route. IP route any network any subnet mask. Send it to ISP, which is 100.100.100. Hmm. Nowadays, I try to use ISIS for all my IGBP. Uh -uh. I G P because I just want to know it. I just want to know to configure even the basic easily. Like how I can just You want to enable ISIS? Yeah, I like use ISIS because the reason I use ISIS because okay. um I, I just it. want to be familiarize myself with it. A lot of icons are not visible here. What are you looking for? A cloud? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It should be there. No, I didn't find it. Okay, any no problem. Okay, you want to uh, run ISIS between the sites. So I'll say router, yes. ISIS, and then net ID 49 represents the private network area, mm -hmm. and the system ID is three sets of number. The last I give one here. That's the system ID. And then zero zero is in selector. And then I say interface loopback. No, no, no. We are going to run ISIS only on the van facing interface. Right. So, so what I'll do is I'll do, <clears throat> I'll go on the interface F00 and say IP router ISIS, that's all. Nothing more. Um, why didn't you give it a, like a name, the ISIS a name? You wish, if you give a name as a process ID, yeah. ABC. You have to mention here also ABC. If you don't give there, you don't give here. Okay. That's not mandatory. Now, we have not started the routers. Let's start.
I've started, but it still turns off. I don't understand. So this router one's configuration, which is with IP address and ISS, is pasted successfully. Now, <clears throat> for router two, I'm going to say two here. And the, here I'm going to say two. And this is going to be 200. Right. And this I leave it one, it's okay. Now ISIS is running on only the van facing interface. Okay. Just the middle router need to bring up. In the middle router, I really do not want to have a Lubeck. Hey, what is this coming now? Hmm. For a long time it is coming. Let me, right, so this is the router 3's configuration. Mm -hmm. It's two physical interface and running ISIS on both. Next is we're going to ping between this R1 and R2 to check the reachability. Ping 200 or 200 or 200 or 2. And I'm able to ping, this is the IP address on the remote site WAN interface. Likewise from router two. This is the IP address on the WAN interface of this site. On the loopbacks, we have 192 network, which I'm I'm not going to include ISIS. It's a private network. We are going to have testing between this Lubeck to Lubeck. And this Lubeck traffics between this Lubeck to Lubeck will be via tunnel. <coughs> so okay. I'll, I'll write a static route later to push the traffic via the tunnel. Only when traffic goes via the tunnel, it gets protected by the algorithms like AES and DES and so on, which we are going to configure. So we got some protocols for encapsulation, encryption, hashing, which I'll show you while configuring. Right. Now I'm on R1. First thing is, I want to bring up GRE tunnel, interface tunnel zero. IP tunnel, for the tunnel, we need to provide an IP address. So I'm saying IP space address 192.168.12.1. So this is also a private address. Tunnel needs an identification, so I give an address. Are you convinced with this, or do you have any question? No, I'm good, I'm good with that. Yeah, then tunnel source will be this fast term zero zero. You can also provide the IP address that you have on that interface or anything, interface or IP address, that doesn't matter. Right. 
Tunnel destination, you cannot give name of interface because it's somewhere on the remote router. So you should give only the IP address, which is 200.200.200. All right. Tunnel mode is GRE. You GRE. no need to mention. It is default. Oh, it's default. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to mention it. Mm, that's all as of now. Let me show you show interface tunnel zero. You can see that the protocol is GRE IP. <coughs> GRE is the protocol and uses IP for the transport. Yeah. Similarly, I'm going to configure at IP address should be same subnet 192.168.12, same subnet, but here it is two. Tunnel source, source is 200 or 200 or 200 Tunnel destination is 100 or 100 or 100.1. That's all. The tunnel should be pingable. The, if I ping from R2 to R1, I'll be able to ping. For this, I no need to provide any study route. I'm able to ping, which means the GRE is working fine. Let me now sniff a packet with my shark and show you. <coughs> You're going to see GRE as a header added in layer after layer three. So let me try pinging again. This is it. So I was pinging from 200.2. Now, if you see this. The tunnels, the, the IP address of the source is, the source is 200 at 200 at 200 at 2. And the destination is 100 dot 100 dot 100 dot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What was that I was pinging? Oh, no. I should ping 192.168.12.1. Yeah? This is what yes. I should ping. Okay, then only I'll know whether it is going through the tunnel. Okay, now this is the address. Now if you see 12.2, you can see GRE here. The original source is 192.168.12.1. The original destination is 192.168.12.2. But it is not routable. It is only routable through the tunnel. Tunnel source is this, and tunnel destination is this. Right. So we can see the ICMP using the additional header to reach the foreign router. This is the original source and destination, which is not used while routing in the internet cloud. So router three right. only will see this address 100001 and it will it will move the packet to 100001. Router three has got no idea about 192 networks. <coughs> router three has got no idea about 192. Because it is tunneled, it is working. Otherwise, this ping is not possible. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to write I'm going to I'm going to write a static route to push the traffic of my LAN network via the tunnel. IP route 192.168.2.0 <clears throat> to go to this network 
Well, you start with zero. One second. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Similarly, on R2, Is this okay? Yes, this is okay. Now, once again, we are going to ping, <coughs> but this time I'm going, to, I'm going to ping from router one's loopback to router two's loopback. 182.168.2.1 with the source of I'm able to ping, and now if you see, again, you can see the two layer of layer three. So mm -hmm. we see that there is an encapsulation, but not encryption. Someone can see the payload. You see the payload I can show you. ICMP will always uh, have some payload, a dummy message, 72 bytes of message you can see. See, I can read the payload. I can read the message. Yeah. No security in this. Now, we know how to form a site-to-site -site tunnel, but it is not a secure tunnel. After configuring secure tunnel, right. I'll bring you back here to the Wireshark, and I'll show you mm -hmm. that the traffics, the payloads are fully encapsulated and encrypted. You know, right now we saw only encapsulated, but not encrypted. <clears throat> so, what is the protocol that is going to encrypt ESP? ESP, encapsulation security payload. So, we are not going to use IPsec. It is ESP, actually. <clears throat> then, what is IPsec? IPsec is a common name. IPsec is a name given for the overall <clears throat> tunneling concepts. IPsec is a collection of protocol that contributes in protecting. That's why it is IP security, IPsec. IPsec is not a protocol. <clears throat> it's just a name. Fine. We want to protect our traffic that goes through the tunnel. We understood there is a tunnel, and we understood that we can even ping those private networks over the public. Right. Without tunnel, this is not possible. We are sure that there is a tunnel, and traffic goes through the tunnel. Now, only one, one thing that is remaining is I need to protect the traffic, which is already going through the tunnel. How do we do that? We need to write policy. First of all, the policy to identify the remote site. We call it as IKE phase one, internet key exchange phase one. Crypto, sorry. Policy map. Crypto ISAKMP policy. That's the command. Okay, crypto ISAKMP policy. Give any number. I'm going to. What happened? Crypto IS policy one. If you have many policies, the one with the lower number will be processed first. So I don't have any policy. I just got only one myself, no? But still, you have to give this number, whether you have more or not. Next is I'm going to say I'm going to authenticate someone using a pre-shared key. That's my policy. You can also use RSA, which is PKI, public key infrastructure. Instead of pre-shared key, you can use. PKI, which is going to use the third party, like Verizon.com, Verizon, like uh, someone, 
uh, who is acting as a CA, sort of certification authority, certification authority CA. So not go deep into this security stuff in enterprises. Don't focus much. It's not that important. But there is something called CA certification authority, which can be an option. Next is for encryption. I have these three option. Encryption of what? Encryption of my pre-shared key. I'm going to use a pre-shared key, like Robert123 uh, as a pre-shared key. Mm -hmm. But if I send it as Robert123, someone can sniff the password. Someone can sniff the packet and know the password. Mm -hmm. But uh, if I encrypt and hash and send it, no one can decrypt it except the other end with the same algorithm and same key. So I'm saying I want to use the encryption algorithm, maybe three days. Three days is three times stronger than this. This is 56. This. Three days, uh, this, this is 56 multiplied by three. This is 256. <laughs> AES is 256. Now for encryption, we have three days. And these things should be same on the other end. Just the key alone is not enough. Even the algorithm should be same. Only then um, when the remote router receives your hashed traffic, they will be able to decrypt it. The policy need to match. So encryption we have finished. For hashing, there's an algorithm called the Diffie-Hellman algorithm. Um, sorry, uh, for hashing, we have an algorithm called SHA-RMD5. SHA is more stronger than MD5. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to go with MD5. Okay. And for integrity only, we have Diffie-Hellman. We call it a security association, right? Uh, integrity, no. Hashing for integrity group. We call this group, integrity group. To provide the integrity mm -hmm. of the data that we send to protect the integrity, you have Algorithms, more stronger you want, then you go with 16. 16 means it's going to use this many bits. But also, I, I think hashing also prevent integrity. Uh, see, hashing, after receiving on the uh, remote device, hashing will be used. but while receiving itself, the integrity can say that someone has altered the packet. So both are needed. All right, so I'm going to say okay. group, let's say group five. Group five is going to use this many bits, your wish. Mm -hmm. But both the side, it should be same. Okay, now we have now just mm -hmm. to say three things, one is, One is authentication method, the other one is encryption, the third one is hashing, the fourth one is the integrity algorithm. And all of this all is called a one? Is policy one that I'm creating to complete phase one. Phase one configuration will be over only after I give the pre-shared key. So far we have not given pre-shared key. So to provide the pre-shared key, I okay. said method is pre-shared key, but where is the key? That I'm going to say now, crypto ISA KMP. Mm. And then I need to say key. Crypto ISA KMP. I need to say key. Correct. It's here. Key. And the key that I want is, as I, as I already said, it's uh, Robert. Am I right in the spelling or wrong? A should come. Correct. Okay. Okay, now this is the password. Now with whom I need to check this password. So I say address. Uh, if I don't know who, then I'll say any. But I know very well with whom. Mm. It is 200 dot. Okay, 
This is the public. Why not? No. Why not? Town address is not routable in the internet. You need to go and negotiate using the internet reachability, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Yes. Now, phase one is over. Phase one is over. Next. Phase two. Crypto. It won't start with, yeah, it will start with crypto. Crypto. No, crypto. Mm. Crypto IKE. Oh no, Jay, your memory is gone. Crypto. Transforms it. I see. IPsec. Yeah. IPsec. Crypto IPsec transforms it. Correct. Okay, so I need to say crypto, I want to transform my data using algorithm, and that algorithm should be same on either side. I give a name, let me say T set. For encryption, you see, for encryption for transforming data, just only encryption if you want, you need to say. Yes or this. If you want to encrypt and hash, then uh, you need to say for encryption I want this, for hashing I want this or this, whichever you like. And I, uh, see, in phase one I used MD5, in phase two it's your wish. There is no need to match with phase one. So I'm going to say here that uh, we'll hash with this. Okay, next. Still, phase two is not over. You need to create a policy profile, profile, crypto IPsec profile, and give a name. This is for uh, virtual tunnel interface, uh, GRE, some name. And then you need to call set transform set this name. That's all. Now, I need to call this one under the tunnel interface. Interface tunnel, what is the tunnel number we gave? Zero or one? Okay. Zero. Then Zero. it is this command. Tunnel protection is using IPsec profile. And this is the profile, boom, that's it. Now, I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Mm. So, do show history and uh, I'll copy these things because this should be same on the other side. <coughs> and then the this one also should be same. But the address is different. Now the IP address should change. Which is 100.100.100.1. And next is the transform set. These things are same. And this is also same. Even the profile name no has to be same? to be same, but nothing wrong if I keep it same. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. now it is done. You're going to see now, when I type show crypto ISA, it says the tunnel is active between this public address and this public address. And if you go to the other end, show crypto ISA, here also it says it is active. Now what is next? But so far, no traffic has used these algorithms to encrypt. As a result, show crypto IPsec SA 
you can see so far no decryption, no encryption. Yeah. The talent is this and this. There is no encryption and decryption so far. But when I try pinging, are you ready for it? When I try yes, I right. pinging, uh, you will see encryption and decryption. Look at this. And I ping five packets, right? So if I yes, ping again, right. mm -hmm. I should see 10 there. Which is both the side channel is good. And let us now go here and sniff the packet and see how it looks. Also, the video that we did yesterday, you, you haven't uploaded. Yeah, I need to upload some of these videos because I go back, I go back over them over okay. and over. All right, now let us go and try doing the ping again. And now you will see ESP, it's not ICMP. You see, it is not ICMP. You and I ping, it is only ESP now. And you see, it's totally hash, nothing you see. You don't even see the original source and destination. You see only the tunnel source and tunnel destination. What happened to the original source? Everything is encrypted by ESP. Okay. You want to see again? I ping again. Ping again. Boom. Again, you see ESP packets. Yeah. So totally secured. No one will know what is really uh, pinging. What IP address is pinging? Whom it pings? It see only the tunnel source and destination. ESP stands for encapsulation yes. security payload. It is not encryption. It is encapsulation. All the encryptions are done by other protocols like 3 days. Hashing is done by MD5. And then uh, integrity is provided by DFA Hellman. Right. Yep. All right. Any questions? Mm -hmm. No, All just right. see you on Monday. Not Monday. Monday is Happy Christmas. You want to come? Yeah, but, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, let you know. Yes, yes. Okay, if I have some programs yes. uh, in church, then I will not be able to. I let you know. I'll know only bit tomorrow whether I have some programs in church. Day after. Hmm? Okay, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I have I have different questions here because you know I watch all these. You you you, you tell me not to watch them, but I watch them in the <laughs> movie. What is the difference between IAS? PS 